Ranking up is no easy task when solo queuing in Rainbow Six Siege. Obviously, Siege is a team game that requires coordination and communication. As a solo queue, that's very hard to find. I guarantee the 10 operators I mentioned in this video will help you carry your randoms and help you win more frequently. The 10th operator on my list is going to be Malusi. Don't let the 10th spot fool you. Malusi is no joke when solo queuing. The reason I have her here on the list is the area denial she can provide. When you're in a stack, you have your teammates watching out for you, giving callouts, but you don't have that when solo queuing. The Banshee gives you an advantage taking gunfights, forcing enemies to move slower to swing you, or take their crosshair down to destroy the Malusi. Not only is she equipped with the MP5, she has a secondary shotgun being the ITA, allowing you to set up sight when your teammates won't. Malusi is an all around good pick. If you haven't used her yet, you're missing out. Operator number nine is going to be brand new to the operator lineup, Scopos. Scopos is a superior roamer, really fitting into any playstyle. You're free to get aggressive because you can switch bots to reset your health. You're free to play passive and be a present roamer because you're literally one button away from sight if you need to get back quick. The potential is unlimited with Scopos and solo queuing. Not only can the gadget come in so clutch, Scopos' loadout has one of the most broken guns in the game right now, the PCX 33 AR. This thing is an absolute laser and it has great damage, being one of the only ARs on defense. You have impact grenades to help you with roaming or sight setup if need be, and prox alarms to keep an eye on your flanks. Scopus will only get better as people learn how to play them best, so I suggest hopping on the bandwagon early. Operator number 8 is going to be Bandit. As Bandit, you can single-handedly make sight nearly impenetrable with a couple well-timed Bandit tricks. Getting good at tricking is round saving when you're the odd one out. Bandit's loadout is also very reliable, giving you the MP7 an absolute beast of an SMG. I don't think you can put a single wrong attachment on this weapon. Whatever you do with it, it always works. You also have the M870 if you're into that. Nothing goes together better better than Bandit and a C4. As Bandit, you're playing a really reliable operator and filling a hole that may not be brought by the four stack on your team. The only reason Bandit is an eight is his lack of sight setup. Unless you're using the MA-74 rotates and head holes, you're gonna be getting hatches all prep phase. Number seven may be a little low, but we'll get into that, it's Doc. I absolutely love Doc as a solo queue option. He has by far one of the best loadouts on defense. Starting with the favorite, the MP5. The MP5 is a solid SMG with the ACOG. You have the P90, which is one of the more underrated SMGs in R6, and the French Shoddy, arguably the best shotgun in the game. Also, incredibly solid secondaries. The Bailiff for rotates and head holes, the P9 for a consistent and reliable secondary, and the Revolver for one taps. Doc's weapon kit fits him so well, it's hard to go wrong with him, especially because no matter how much damage you take, you're able to hear yourself back up to full HP with his stim pistol. Now, as for the reason he isn't higher on the list, I think Doc really shines in a team setting, even just a duo. Whether you're roaming with him and need to be told to come back to site or simply being asked for a stim, it's all easier when you're not solo queued. But if you're playing selfishly, Doc is one of the best there is. Tuber out is going to take the number six spot on this list, mainly because of his loadout. Not to discredit the gadget at all, it's a very useful gadget. Being able to counter almost every single attacker in the game is not something that goes unnoticed. But I think the loadout is what makes Tuber out an actual machine on defense. It's incredibly reliable, which is something that you want when solo queuing. You have the AR-1550, the strongest DMR on defense with an ACOG. You also have the MPX, which while it is a pea shooter, it makes up for it in fire rate. And the C4 pairs well with the verticality of Tuber's gadget as you're able to see the footprints from below. There's really no way to go wrong using Tuberow. I think he's perfect for our number six spot and a great solo queue option. Number five, the fan favorite, Smoke. Smoke is a do it all operator and really excels as solo play. Smoke canisters lock down a bombsite with ease. All of this really wouldn't be possible without his broken loadout. Smoke does it the best in my opinion. You got the M590 shotgun, an absolute gem of a weapon, has great pellet spread, and to complement it, you have the SMG11 secondary. Smoke has been a staple of solo queue and siege for the entirety of the game's history. But just like Doc, he's lower on this list because I think he's a little bit better in team play. A good example of what I mean is the bunker strat on Oregon. Smoke could theoretically hold this alone, but it's a lot easier when you bring Thorn, Jaeger, Mute, you get the idea. Smoke as an operator is more than capable of changing around, which makes him a great solo queue operator. Coming in at our number four spot, I'm going to put Fenrir. Fenrir has a lot going for him, even with his nerf recently. He's still considered to be one of the strongest defenders. He has the MP7 SMG and the Bailiff secondary. You have the fragging power and the soft destruction. There isn't much Fenrir can't do. I would even go as far to say a well-placed Fenrir can be better than Smoke sometimes. It's not all perfect 
graphic though as Finier has one of the highest ban rates in the game but on the off chance he's not banned i'd say give him a run you won't regret it before we get into the top three i'm gonna ask you to hit the subscribe button down below i'm really pushing for 10k subscribers before the end of the year and i'd love if you're a part of that and hitting the like button wouldn't hurt either just saying let's get started with the top three starting off our top three spots i got mute mute very similar to smoke has the m590 shotgun and the smg 11 secondary this complements his play style as his gadget is very drop and go mute counters almost every single operator in the game blocks dokubi calls iona clones all intel he's really the jack of all trades defender not only does he have this insane kit already the c4 complements the aggressive play style so well he's kind of a solo cure's dream i really can't see a reason to not use mute in most scenarios as he's just perfect for the role whether you want to roam or anchor mute is great at all of it number two spot is going to go to azami azami has been a cornerstone of defenses since her release but don't let her recent nerf fool you she is still just as strong as she was pre-nerf Azami allows you to turn any site into anything you can think of. You wish that angle was a bit tighter, Azami can do that. You want a pixel on the hookah balcony, you can do that too. There is really no limit to the possibilities with Azami. You can't ask for much more from a do-it-all kind of operator. Her SMG is top tier with a high fire rate and decent damage. If the SMG isn't your thing, Azami has one of the most broken guns on defense, the ACS, with an ACOG and the Deagle to round it all out. Again, Azami is just a do-it-all operator. You don't really Really have to rely on your team to do anything for her finally number one i'm gonna give it to lesion in my experience there is no better solo queue operator than lesion this operator has it all starting from the top a very balanced two speed two health operator perfect for roaming or taking direct gunfights moving on to loadout we got the t5 smg the best smg in my opinion i've never felt as confident in a weapon as i do with the t5 and the super shorty secondary perfect for rotates site setup and getting crazy angles while roaming his loadout is very self-sufficient being able to do everything he needs to do on his own and to top it all off the goo mine is your best friend while solo queuing with lesion you can use it for audio cues and even denying plant in the last couple seconds if i'm solo queuing i am picking lesion every single time that will wrap up the best solo queue defenders to help you rank up this season if you enjoyed the video i would appreciate it if you hit the like button down below and let me know in the comments would you like to see an attacking version of this list hope you all have a wonderful day and of course subscribe for daily siege content